everyone. This is Cheryl Gallagher with Body Creation Coaching. This is Cheryl Gallagher with Body Creation Coaching. Hello guys, welcome back. Um, and these are my really fun cards that I just got created. Uh, and super fun, I just love creating things. But anyways, these are cards I'm handing out for people to talk about this, my new YouTube channel here, which you are here. Um, so of course, like the video if you like it and subscribe so you guys get more updates of these videos uh, that are coming up, coming at ya. So welcome guys, and today we're gonna to talk about some things, uh, geez, there's so many things I could talk about. I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet and just to the point so you guys get um, as much as you can out of it. So let's start with becoming present in our body today. What I want you to do is I want you to take one hand, place it on your forehead, and then the other hand, I want you to place it at the, the back part of your skull, the base of your skull here. <sighs> And you can either keep your eyes open or closed. Remember, it's your body. Um, and I want you to just take a few breaths in through your nose and blow out your mouth. In through your nose and out your mouth. Go ahead and do one more of those. And if you're really enjoying it, go ahead and do a couple more. Awesome. You can bring your hands down. Well, this, just those, you know, a few inhales and exhales. Do you feel a difference? Do you feel a shift? Hopefully you do. Isn't that amazing? Again, if you haven't watched any of the videos previous to this, the power of the breath is a great one. Um, and we've been talking about reframing and describing how we describe the body and how we, the language. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about like interpreting some of these messages. Now, the technique I just showed you, I just wanna talk about really super fast is um, the FO or the frontal occipital hold that I learned in kinesiology uh, a long time ago. And what it does is it helps slow your monkey mind down. It helps you to be more present in your body and to just be able to be here instead of here with that loop continually going. You see, the back part of your brain is your reptilian brain. It's that survival. And then the front is your logical, your thinking, your reasoning. And what happens is when your body thinks there's an emergency, when you keep thinking about one thing over and over and over, I'm sure you never do this, right? Then the body thinks that there's an emergency. So it shuts down your thinking and reasoning in the front part of your brain. And you can't think. That just keeps going and going and going. So this is a great way. It actually helps balance those, that cycle and can bring you back into your body a little bit more so you can become more present, more clear, um, and you can think and reason just a little bit. But the most important piece I want you to get is to be in your body so you can become aware of what's true for you. So, a couple of questions today. Is this mine and who does it belong to? So, I'd like you to be a little bit open-minded. It might get a little bit weird, but I'm a little bit weird, so if you're here, you probably are too. Um, and I would like you to ask the question, who does this belong to? Is this mine? Pretty much most of the times when you feel a sensation in your body, whether it's maybe in the form of a headache, a pain, and maybe it's just a running thought that won't stop, um, anxiety, fear, it's not yours. Well, how do we know this? Well, let's give you some examples that some stories. I like that too. We're going to go there in a minute. Um, examples of how do I know this to be true? Well, one, I've done it and I've seen where it's true. And then the other piece is you've probably all heard of men who have experienced sympathy pains from their pregnant wife. Yes. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. It's not his pain, but he's experiencing something similar to his wife. Cool. Your body, I mean, I want to clue you in. Your body is like this amazing antenna and it picks up stuff from everywhere. And so when we can learn to interpret what it's telling us, 
again, i.e. the language, the communication, then we can have a way different space with it instead of always creating it's got a problem. So, sympathy pains. Have you ever walked into a room where there's somebody who is like really just angry and pissed off and they're like, Marr. okay, did you feel it in your body? Well, it's not yours. It was their anger. Maybe you were angry too, but in an instance where you weren't angry, but you walked in and you felt it. Or you could have somebody who is, um, well, extremely happy is fun too to be contagious. That's, that's a fun one. I want that to be contagious. Um, however, what if someone's really sad or upset? You're as someone who's really sad and then you feel it in your body? Okay. So that's a little piece of this. So here's the story time. So a few years ago, and I have lots of them, I'm just gonna use a, pull a few of them. Um, a few years ago, I was with my daughter, who's a cosmetologist now, woohoo. And she, I was in the school bus, it was a chaperoning a field trip to New York, the New York Hair Show. Well, you know, I'm on a bus with adolescent girls who are all about their looks, cosmetologists, or, you know, potential cosmetologists at that time. And I had my little beanie cap on, it was cold, and I had to go to the bathroom really bad from all the coffee I had that morning. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't get up. I can't, I, I can't get up because if I get up and they're gonna see me, they're gonna look at me, they're gonna see me with this hat, and then, oh my gosh, what do they think? Are they gonna make fun of me? And then I was like, wait a minute. Ha! And I asked the question, well, who does this belong to? Is this mine? Two questions. And would you know within like a matter of moments, it completely went poof, it went away. All right, another example. I'm in the hair show. After about a half an hour being there, my head started to hurt. My back started to feel bad. I'm like, well, what the heck? I was feeling fine just like 30 minutes ago. And then I was like, well, is this mine? Who does it belong to? Now, this one took me a few minutes. This one took a few minutes to, because there were so many people there. It took a few minutes to release, but it did shift. Now, Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, I know I've mentioned him before, he pretty much says that about 99.9% .9 of thoughts, feelings, emotions you have in your body are not yours. Now, I still play with this a little bit. However, I have recognized a lot that is not mine that I'm actually the antenna that I'm picking up from somebody else. So, you ask the question, you start with the question to open the door instead of going to the answer. And that's what I want us to do here. I want us to be more in question and asking questions for our body and not trying to get in here, which that loop that messes us up, but in our body, because our body has its own wisdom body knows. So when we ask, who's this belong to? Is this mine? If there is even the slightest bit of shift, it is not yours at all. Now, the other piece of this is, well, you get a sense it's not yours. Return to sender. Like, you know, you get the mail, you get that envelope, you put on there return to sender. I know we don't really do that much anymore, but return to sender with consciousness attached. That just makes them be aware of the information that's coming back. Now, does it mean you're sending it back and it's gonna make it worse for them? I wanna put that out there right now. It just means it's not yours, you're experiencing it, and I don't wanna experience this in my body. This goes for anxiety. It goes for pain, sensations in your body, thoughts that are going through your head that are rampant, and you're like, well, what the heck? Did you experience an upsurgence last year when COVID was going crazy of maybe fear, of maybe desperation, uh, maybe panic, anxiety. Was all of that yours? Or were you experiencing it through your body because it's an antenna from everyone around the globe that actually really was freaking out? And maybe you were freaking out some too. I get it. What I'm saying is, is that we don't, when we can learn to define what is ours and what isn't, it is a completely different world. So if I walked around all day and all the people that I'm working on, you know, I got a pain in my shoulder and my knee, I'm like, oh, I got a problem here, I got a problem there. Remember, when we frame it, I have a problem, we're gonna create it in our bodies. We're gonna buy it and we're gonna wear it. Like that old comfy shirt that's old and should've been thrown out, you know, months ago. So all I'm saying is for the next, you know, week, two weeks, do it forever, I don't care. Uh, don't do it at all. See if it works, notice it. 
I have had cravings. Now, <laughs> do it with your cravings. Do it with your foods. There's a story in the book called Being You, Changing the World. And one of the stories in there, <clears throat> Dr. Dane here talked about a lady who, she was at work and she had cravings. Every morning she'd eat donuts. Okay, well, you're like, oh, okay, of course. Yeah, I like donuts too. I like donuts. And <clears throat> she realized, well, <clears throat> maybe I'll like use this question. Who does it belong to? Is it mine? And when she said, answered this or asked the question, she realized the cravings were actually weren't hers. They were her coworkers. And she returned that energy back and then the cravings went away and she stopped eating the donuts and she lost 20 pounds. Well, isn't that cool? Hmm. Like I said, I'm not saying this is about losing weight or letting go of weight. However, it can be a piece of this cultivation with our body. Cool. All right. I will probably add some more stories about this later, but I want you to look at that. You know, if you have a a pain in your knee and so your spouse does too well whose is it and ask whose it is and if you return it it doesn't mean again it's not going to make it worse it's just going okay i recognize thank you body you can even thank how about you thank your body for the awareness of whatever that is and then return it awesome and then the other little piece of this is there is a clearing statement and access if you say it, it can move things a little bit quicker. Uh, you don't have to say it, but I'm going to give it to you anyways. And I'm going to put some information in the bottom here about it if you want to learn more. So return to sender with consciousness attached. And then you say right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. You can shift the energy as well. So it helps it move a little bit quicker, gets rid of it. And when I was in that hair, sh hair show and I was saying that over and over and over, <laughs> eventually about five minutes went past. It took me a little bit. It did actually um, dissipate and released and it was awesome. And I didn't have a headache. I didn't have to take ibuprofen. I didn't be like, oh, my back and create more of a, you know, like, oh my God, my back hurts. So what's going on? I was able to enjoy the day and go about my way. So next time you have those sensations, those pains, and I had someone say to me, Cheryl, oh, I'm asking these questions and then I'm not really sure, hmm, what's the answer? I get blank. Well, it's okay. Create the space for it to show up. Your body's gonna talk to you in different ways. Your body might, you know, pop a picture in your head um, or you might turn and grab something that you didn't mean to grab in your mind, but you grabbed it with your hand. And that's gonna be a whole other thing because I want to talk about how my body has actually grabbed things that I didn't mentally think I wanted but it grabbed it and so then I recognized that but anyway so is it mine who does it belong to I want you to play with this and have some fun and I will talk to you guys later um, if you have questions about this please email me email me and email me email me I'd be happy to talk to you a little bit more um, and if you haven't looked at those videos before go back and do that now. All right guys, have a great one. I'll talk to you soon.